Hey guys, we are back uh, for part two of uh, today's stream. Uh, we have a new campaign to start today. Uh, in in case you missed it, uh, there is VOD also going to be a YouTube playlist. The special challenge campaign uh, Borlu on Legend difficulty. With also uh, house rules, no heroes in the army, no flying units, ten slots in every army are reserved for peasant units. Uh, no siege attacks unless you have a ram and siege towers built. No confederations, no declared war on humans or dwarves. And the campaign objective is to destroy the vampire counts before Eren Three War versus Chaos. It's uh, it's a lot. It, uh, it's not that bad. We are 70 turns in, which means we are still in the phase of the incursion event, which is pretty much the early game for Borlu and Carcassonne. Uh, this is a playable faction, not a mod. Hey, Uncle Fari. Yoohoo! Hey, Mokomo King. Hey, Hugh Erickton. We had about uh, uh, five hours on the first uh, half of the stream, part of the stream today. Uh, we're gonna have at least uh, uh, two to three hours on this one. Pretty much until I fall asleep. We are back in the, in the vampire hours. Okay. Don't care about it, vent. Holy shit, it's loud. Nerdridge with a host. Hey, Nerdridge, thanks for the host. Hey, Master. Okay, uh, so what is going on here? Uh, the usual would be in, uh, fighting incursions. So we had a, a battle against the Red Duke. It was uh, favorable conditions. We have Albrecht rank 13. And we already have the Shulri Code and Glufinius Progeny. Our cavalry is formidable. And uh, Captain Scotty picking up treasure. Get a tag and a trunk of mobs. I don't want a tag. Paladin is actually a, a very good campaign hero. Both an assassin and the army harasser for the assault units, and the assault garrison all on one hero. Uh, Kalidis asks, what would be the easiest faction to get into Legend of Difficulty and try to get short victory? Well, uh, the easiest campaign in the whole game is the Carcassonne, that's my opinion. Uh, the other, uh, one of the other Bertonian factions. And it can also be a, a, a fast campaign too. Uh, you could finish uh, uh, under five hours. And that is going uh, is going well so far. Uh, we're still in the uh, in the early part of the campaign, which is uh, the green skin incursions event. So uh, I never really uh, uh, found uh, dealing with Muslim hard. I heard stories. This is my, uh, I think my third ever Borlu campaign. First one in Warhammer 2. I've uh, finished Borlu campaign before in like five hours, and I never really found a problem with the uh, with, with the Musilon. This one is gonna be a little problematic as uh, uh, limited expansion options. So uh, uh, it's gonna be one of them uh, uh, slower uh, battalion campaigns. I actually enjoyed all the battalion campaigns we did uh, with House Rules back in Warhammer 1. Because the uh, the base baton is too easy. You get to see treasures. Everybody get XP. No, just the uh, just the Lord. Uh, what happened? Uh, we had a break. We had a break in between. Uh, these days it's really hot, so we'll have uh, pretty much streams in two parts. The High Elves don't really like us, at least the Lothurn doesn't. Could always offer to join wars. Alariel's champion. Capital of uh, uh, Iveres is just across uh, Borlu. 
in that uh, of war with the whole coast here. Ah, no, it was uh, a long turns, Golden Eye. Long turns. Uh, the first uh, twenty turns, uh, pretty much all five hours. I am quick to anger and slow. Unless you're out resolving. Aston is looking very bad. Uh, under siege by the dwarves, and the uh, beastmen are uh, uh, waiting as well. I'm still kind of hoping Musillon takes down uh, Lioness. I need to drop this alliance. Uh, well, I will wait for the treaty to expire so we can cancel the alliance. That way we don't have any reliability rating penalty and it's an honorable, honorable way of doing things. <laughs> get up, get. Uh, this is gonna be a, a this is gonna be a, a, I think our best patrolling campaign so far. I tried to make it, you know, a, a, a best with the house rules, so we actually get a longer campaign. But who knows what's gonna happen? Kind of like a med uh, like a medieval a medieval uh, a setting. But the heroes are just the agents, not in the, not in the army, not flying in the army. Yeah, uh, the only orc incursion starts on turn 2. And it lasts uh, for 20 turns. You can either just fight them off, or uh, go destroy uh, orc settlement. For Borlu and Carcassonne, uh, early game is the way to, f is to fight incursions. And the most effective way to do it is uh, with multiple lords. Some silly people uh, would say this is cheesing, but uh, if something is effective, you know, today, you know, mentality of people, you know, is all cheese. They have mixed up, you know, uh, uh, effectiveness with cheese. If the lady wills it, <laughs> let me think about it. No! Guardian of Bretonia. If I attack here, uh, looks like they might have it on the other side of the river. So, uh, we should ignore uh, uh, Richard here. Maybe let's cheat Wizard back. In three turns. You're Make your petition and leave this place. This lady, uh, this lady is always full of, uh, this full of it. Welcome, brothers from across the Grey Mountains. Um, we might grab a stone here. They're not allowed to declare war on other humans and uh, dwarves, but if they declare war on us, uh, we have green light to, for conquest. Uh, we'll uh, get rid of this guys here. They're almost done with the incursions. Green Knight is back. You know what I think about Green Knight? Off with it. Do you know who I am? Mm. My reputation precedes me. Valiant Lord. Our army is pretty strong here, although it does might not see it. A lot of people underestimate the tier 3 cavalry. I have won campaigns with tier 3 cavalry. I have destroyed Atal Loren with tier 3 cavalry. Blessing of the lady, boys. Blessing of the lady. Okay, I will maintain strength here. Down to two lords currently in Borloo. 